Hi, my name is Naomi Candelaria. I am a second year master's student working with Dr. Julie Grossman and Dr. Mary Rogers. We are evaluating the ability of summer cover crops to provide ecosystem services. And one of the many benefits cover crops supply is nitrogen to your soil. These nitrogen credits should be accounted for when calculating or deciding how much fertilizer to put in your soil each year. There are three steps to calculating nitrogen credits from your cover crop. Step one is to figure out the total amount of plant biomass in your cover crop. To do this, use a ruler or a yardstick to measure a known area in your cover cropped plot. In this case, we've created a two by two frame with PVC pipes. Choose at least three to four spots in your field to cut all of the plants within your frame and collect the biomass. Cut as close to the soil surface as possible without pulling on the roots. You may find it easier to use a three-sided frame rather than a four-sided frame so that you can easily slide it through the canopy. Let the harvested biomass dry completely. This can be done in an oven or simply by laying the sample outside for a few days in a protected spot during warm, dry, sunny weather. Once your samples are dry, you'll need to weigh them. You can then use a simple calculation to figure out the amount of biomass in your whole field based on the weight of biomass from your samples. In this case, our sample weighed 0.6 pounds. Let's say we took two samples that were each two feet by two feet. So we sampled from a total of eight square feet. We can multiply the weight of our biomass by 43,560 square feet, the number of square feet in one acre, and then divide by the number of square feet included in our sample. This ratio gives us the total amount of biomass per acre in this field. This brings us to step two. Now that we know the total cover crop biomass per acre, we'll estimate the amount of nitrogen present in the biomass. For legumes, nitrogen makes up about 4% of the total biomass when flowering begins. If you allow your cover crop to start forming seeds, some of that nitrogen will be transported into the seeds. Because seeds do not decompose as easily as leafy biomass, the nitrogen in them is not as readily available. Because of this, we use the percent nitrogen in the leaves to calculate nitrogen credits. Nitrogen makes up about 3% of the total vegetative biomass once seed set begins. Non-legumes also contain nitrogen. While they do not fix nitrogen from the atmosphere, they utilize the nitrogen in the soil. If the soil were bare, some of the nitrogen in it would be prone to leaching or washing away, so cover crops help to capture and retain the nitrogen present in the soil. For non-legume species like oats, rye, or sorghum sedan grass, about 3% of the total biomass comes from nitrogen at the beginning of flowering, and about 2% of the vegetative biomass comes from nitrogen as the seeds begin to mature. Let's use the example from before. We calculated that we have 3,267 pounds of biomass per acre from our cover crop. The cover crop that Naomi sampled was Phacelia, which is not a legume. Since we terminated the cover crop as it was flowering and before seed set began, we can multiply our total biomass by 3%. That gives us 98 pounds of nitrogen per acre from our cover crop. The final step is to figure out how much of that nitrogen will be available right away. Since nitrogen in cover crops is tied up in organic matter, it will need to be broken down by soil microbes before it is accessible to plants. If you terminate your cover crop and leave the residue on the soil, you can assume that around 40% of the nitrogen may be available in the first year. If you incorporate your cover crop by disking or tilling it, you can expect that 50% of the nitrogen may be available in the first year. Sticking to our last example, if we have 98 pounds of nitrogen available from our Phacelia cover crop, around 39 pounds may be available if we do not incorporate the residue, and around 49 pounds may be available if we do. See the Minnesota Nutrient Management Guide for Commercial Growers to find out how much nitrogen each of your crops needs. You can supplement the nitrogen from your cover crop with other types of fertilizer. 
Actual decomposition rates in nitrogen credits will vary from site to site depending on environmental and management variability, but this calculation provides a good estimate. This approach for calculating nitrogen credits was adapted from the SARE publication, Managing Cover Crops Profitably. 